So Windows 10 RTM is available now. Um, I went ahead and downloaded the 32-bit and the 64-bit ISOs, installed the 32-bit on my Nuke, and I think we're going to go ahead and kick off a 64-bit install here in VirtualBox. Now, I had previously done a video uh, of installing Windows 10 in VirtualBox before, but that was the technical preview. Let's go ahead and kick off an actual install of Windows 10 in VirtualBox. Let's see how we do here. Now, this is with the ISOs I downloaded. So let's see if this is going to work out. Windows 10, 64-bit, continue, standard, create a virtual hard drive. Yep, I'm just clicking the basically the defaults here, dynamic, Windows 10, 32 gigs. Um, let's verify that it's pointing to my VM drive. It is not. So I'm going to go to VM drive. Let's go to VMs. Uh, this is previous stuff. Actually, I should probably... Let's go ahead and move that one out and move that one out because I'm no longer using those. So right there, VM untitled. Oh, because I didn't title it. So let's title it uh, Windows Windows 10. Okay, let's put a space. Save VM Windows 10 VDI. 32 gigs, that's fine. Create. So that's created. Let's go ahead and add a hard drive. If we go into settings, you can do this, I think, when you fire it up as well. But um, since we're here, let's go ahead and kick off. Let's go ahead and point it to the, this is all previous, um, choose, here we go. And the ISO, we're going to point it to the ISO, there's 64-bit, open. Okay, kick off the start button, and my dog's barking, so I need to go let her in. Let this go, pause it for a second. All right, refill my coffee, let my dog in, and here we are. Um, basically, we're just going to follow this, and I'm going to install now. Should bring up a point where we get to choose how we want uh, the install to go. So we'll let this go for just a second. Um, here's the product key. Let's skip this for now anyways, because I don't wanna use a product key. This is just gonna be for learning and testing. All right, so we wanna do Windows 10 Pro or Home? Let's, uh, let's do Pro, because we got a server on here. We're gonna see if we can utilize some of this. Accept, next. We're gonna do a custom. Um, always do a custom, and I always make sure to delete the partition. Um, basically, so it reformats it and it doesn't leave two OS's on there or more junk. I just want to, I always want it clean. So hit next. All right, this is going to work for a while and uh, we'll be back. Okay, it's almost done. It's finishing up. Uh, oh, it's restarting. That was good. Good timing. We start now. Install's really easy, of course. Press any key to boot from the DVD. We don't want to do that, but VirtualBox still has the CD attached. Um, this is probably gonna take just a second. I'm gonna pause it again. So now during the install, it's saying it's time to enter the product key. Again, I don't have one. So I'm gonna say do this later. Get going fast. All right, so this time, I'm, I'm let's customize settings. Let's take a look at what this is gonna say. Personalize your speech by typing in inking, blah, 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 blah. Sure, we can do that on send typing. Let apps use your advertising ID for experiences across apps. I'm gonna turn that off. Location, let Windows and apps request your location, including location history. No, I don't need that on. You know what? Send typing and inking data to Microsoft to improve the recognition. I'm just going to turn that off. Hit next. Use smart screen online services to help protect against malicious. Uh, we'll leave that on. Use page prediction to improve reading, speed up browsing, better your browsing data. Your browsing data will be sent to Microsoft. No. Uh, connectivity and error reporting because there's been a lot of chit chat about the new terms of service. Um, Microsoft is spying on you or whatever. My, you know, uh, essentially, if you don't go through these and change some of your privacy settings, um, they can very easily um, collect your data. Basically, so connectivity and error reporting automatically connect to suggested open hotspots. Not all networks are secure. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to connect to networks shared by your contacts. No, I don't need to do that. Send error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. 
Um, this I don't mind. I'm gonna leave this on just in case there is errors and stuff. It, it'll, I think it gives you the option to send it. Maybe it sends it automatically. I don't know. If you know, let us know. You hit next, and we'll just let this run. Who owns this PC? This choice is important, and it isn't easy. And it isn't easy to switch later. If this PC belongs to your organization, sign in with that ID. Uh, I'm gonna say I own it. Next. I don't remember that popping up on the Nuke when I was installing it. Maybe it's because this is Pro. It's probably because this is Pro. Make it yours. Your Microsoft account opens. Um, okay, so I don't want to use my Microsoft account anymore. I, I really don't. I didn't like doing that in the beginning anyways with uh, Windows 8, I think it was. So we're gonna do no account, create one, or is this actually going to create a Microsoft Live account? Well, let's see, let's create your account. Yeah, no, we don't wanna do this. Let's go back. This is a learning one. All right, we're gonna skip this step. Who's gonna use this PC? Uh, is this going to be my username? Uh, I think so. So instead of my full name, I'm going to use, I guess they're trying to say, what's your, uh, what's your user account going to be? I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to put our full name or not. Enter password. Uh -huh. I probably didn't type that right. It felt like that wasn't right. A hint is required. I'm going to, I'm going to just do the same. I guess that did work. So hopefully that's going to be our username, <laughs> not my full name. I'm sure we could change it anyways later, but I will let this go. Oh, actually, okay. Now it's going to go through all this mess, and this will be a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it again. Hey, it's recognizing a network. You, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? We recommend allowing this on your home and work networks, but not public ones. Yeah, why not? Because we're at home. It is all for testing and learning. So this is the brand new um, Windows 10 RTM. We saw it with the Nuke Windows 10 install, sort of, kind of. I didn't have a screencast going on that one. I just had a camera in the background. Um, all right, an update is being installed. One drive is being updated to the latest version. All right. Um, one other thing I want to do with the VirtualBox install is install the uh, guest editions. Uh, so we're gonna go up to the top here. We're gonna go to devices. I'm gonna say insert guest edition CD image and let's see what happens. Oh, all right, I'm impatient. We're gonna open up Windows Explorer, go to this PC. Here we go, so it's right here. So, so we're just gonna try the default install and see what happens. Say yes, next, default, default, let it run. Probably gonna want to reboot. I do this for all the VMs that I set up. It allows like proper resizing. I think like shared folders between the host machine, which would be my OS 10, and the Windows machine. It allows um, certain things to work properly. All right, let's log in. Now that we have that installed, next thing I want to do is check for Windows updates. If there's in Windows updates available, we're going to kick them off. So we want this thing up to date. So now that we did this and we have the guest, guest editions installed, let's first actually change the um, screen resolution because I want more real estate here. So display settings, I just right click the desktop. All right, um, display, do we have, we just change the size of text, blah, 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 blah. Where's, really do I have to go here? Oh, I have to go to advanced. Um, let's do, uh, Let's do 1280 by, oh, let's do 1280 by 960. Apply. Uh, keep changes. Actually, let's go a little bit bigger. Let's do 1280, no. Yeah, let's do 1280 by 1084. Let's see what happens. Keep changes. Nah, let's do, I want it a little bit wider. It's not really much wider. So it's fairly large now. Um, so if I hit the start button, it looks more normal doesn't take up the whole stupid screen. <laughs> um, oh, Windows updates. So I'm gonna just do it as pretending like I really don't know what I'm doing with Windows 10. It's not really pretending because I really don't. So I'm just gonna hit the start button and start typing. I'm gonna type uh, Windows update. And we'll go to the first one, Windows update setting. Oh, it's uh, all right. D 
details. What do we got? We have a Windows Defender definition update and some other. So we're going to definitely do those, but I'm going to just go back. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, it's automatically downloading right now. All right. Let's see what our advanced options are. Automatic. Yep. Notify. Let's actually change it because I don't want it to. I don't want everything to happen. We'll restart your device automatically when you're not using it because I really don't want that to happen. So this is something you may want to change. Um, and we'll go into these a lot more later. I'm going to do another video with like things to do after your install. You know what I'm saying? And then also um, tips on hotkeys because I'm, I'm like I'm a hotkey fanatic. It's going to be a little bit difficult when I'm using this keyboard. I may even just plug in a standard keyboard just so it's more like the real thing. But um, usually I could get a, I could get away with just using that command key a lot. We'll see what happens. Uh, so that's all I want to do. Give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows. Yeah, let's do that. And let's just go with that. So is there no save? It just pretty much. All right. I'm okay with that. All right. So that's uh, Windows 10 RTM install and a real basic setup for VirtualBox. And um, I know it's not it's not genuine because I have not put in a key yet, but that's all right because I'm just going to use this for testing and for our videos here. All right, guys. What would you like to see with Windows 10? Let me know. All right. Later.